Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Humes. I'm here to give you a little bit of a tutorial about linking verbs to help you out with your homework or if you were absent or your mom wants to help you or your dad or whomever. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about are the linking verbs themselves. The first that I'm going to talk about are the be verbs, the forms of be. Now would be am, is, are, was, were, be, being, and been. You really want to spend a little time and some energy focusing on these because they're probably the most commonly used ones, but yet they're the ones that students tend to have the most trouble finding in a sentence. The other linking verbs are a little bit easier and a lot of them deal with the senses. And you guys have a list of these in your notes as well as I did post a list on Edmodo for you to study. And you're going to need to study and you're going to need to memorize those linking verbs. When you're trying to find the parts of a sentence, the first thing you need to do is find the linking verb. So I have a sentence here, Mrs. Humes is awesome. Our linking verb here is is. So we're going to put an LV above it. Who is? That would be Mrs. Humes. Right, so now we have a subject and a verb. Now you have the subject and the verb, but a linking verb, but technically a linking verb has to link something to that subject. Um, and the word that it links to is called either a predicate adjective or PA or predicate noun or PN. And how do we know which is which? Well, we're going to say Mrs. Humes is what? She's awesome. All right, so does awesome describe Mrs. Humes? It does, so then it is linking back to Mrs. Humes. It describes Mrs. Humes. If it was a noun, it could rename Mrs. Humes. Adjectives describe. But how do I know for sure if awesome is an adjective or if it's a noun? I have some tricks for you guys. Remember, the blank dog is very blank. If, an ad if a word can fit in both of those blanks and make sense, it's an adjective. For the nouns, if you could put a and or the in front of it, it's probably a noun. This doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work quite a bit. So if we look at awesome, the awesome dog is very awesome. That works. If you look at the an or the, could you have an awesome? You can't, so it doesn't work there. So this is an easy one. It's definitely an adjective. Um, some of the words that won't work here would be words that end with er and est, like big, bigger, biggest, or short, shorter, shortest. Those don't work really in these blanks, but they'll be adjectives. Some other words that won't really work well with these tests are words that can be both adjectives and nouns, like the word light. Because you could say the light dog is very light, and that works, but you can also have a light but they mean two different things, so you'd actually have to read the sentence in those cases to decide which one it meant. All right, so let's do some practice sentences. First, Joe is funny in class. Our linking verb here is is. Always find the verb first. Who is Joe? Joe is what? Well, he's funny. Could you say the funny dog is very funny? You sure can. Could you have a funny? No, you can't. So that one's definitely going to be an adjective. Next, we have Jill is a great student. Our ver linking verb is is again. Who is? Jill. Jill is what? Well, you're going to probably be tempted to say great, but we have an a uh here. It doesn't say Jill is great. It says Jill is a great student. So student is actually the word we're looking for, and she's a student. So that one's going to be a noun. But you can double check. Can you say the student dog is very student? No, you can't. Next, we have the barrel of apples is cold. And something I've been trying to tell you guys about is these little ofs. When you see of in a sentence, you've got to ask yourself of what and get rid of the phrase. So we have a barrel of what? Of apples. We're going to get rid of that because that is a prepositional phrase, and nothing we need in our sentence is going to be in a prepositional phrase. So our linking verb is is, what is, and that would be the barrel. Not the apples, the barrel. The barrel is what? Cold. Is the cold dog very cold? Yes. Can you have a cold? You can have a cold. But are we talking about a cold here? Like is anybody sneezing? No. So this one is an adjective. Finally, this sentence is a tricky one. We have is again. You're going to see a lot. Who or what is? That would be the sentence. The sentence is what? Look, we have a. Uh, you guys are probably all picking tricky right now. It's not tricky. The sentence is a tricky one. And that's a P-N, a tricky one. We have this A here letting us know that one is a P-N and that we have it. All right, so good luck with your homework. I hope this helped you out a little bit. And I will see you in class.